So I really, <clears throat> I really want you guys to like to win in life. You know, I uh, want to talk to you about winning in life in this video because about like two hours ago, I posed, I I recorded a video. It's still saved on my phone. It was 14 minutes long, and the audio didn't work. I had on a mic and the battery died. I didn't know it. So I posted the video. Somebody put in the comment section that the video didn't have any audio in it. And it made me realize like, hey, like that's a shit situation, right? It took some time out of the day to, to go record a video. But at the same time, I have this belief that there's no such thing as accidents. I don't know if you guys believe that. And, that, and that's one of the things that I want to talk about today. Like with this... Um, this idea of winning in life. What does it mean to you guys to win in life? You know, I love doing these videos. I really do. You know, I love, I love expanding and growing in life. I like, and I love connecting with you guys. And I think that some of the, the you know, the value that a person can get from life is from wisdom, experience, and a lot of people don't get the real value from life, you know? They, they chase things. And so how do you win the game of life? You know, at the end of the day, all of us are gonna end up in a grave somewhere. Our energy is gonna transfer. It's gonna go from us to something else. And, um, you know, one of my favorite quotes, which you guys can write this down, is judge a man not by what he accomplishes, but by who shows up to his funeral. That quote has guided me for many years. I, I don't remember when it started. Um, I can't remember if it was Iraq when I was in my, when I was 20 years old, or if it was later on. But I, I think that there's um, every every man, every person needs a battle. They need a, a a path. They need a hero's journey, and they need to accomplish, and they need to win. But the game of life, like, really can't be won. You know, it's it's. You can have your own scorecard, but the real, real way to like, you can't achieve your way to winning, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Because at the end of the day, we all end up in the same place. We all end up not in the game anymore. And so how do you win the game of life? You know, one of my friends is a former Navy SEAL. And one of the things that he said was, you know, when it comes to pursuing your life and to win in life, you should really ask yourself this question. He said, um, what do I want my life experience to be? That's another good question, another good note for you guys to write down. When it comes to winning the game of life and winning at life, you're, you're setting up the game that you're playing. You're deciding how you're going to go about life and what is important to you and what's not. And... I know I want to save you guys some a headache. I want to save you guys some pain because I've seen a lot of people approach life and chase money, chase a business, chase a career, and none of it fulfilled them. Okay, I was fortunate enough at 20 years old to be in Iraq without like connection back to the United States. So, like we had pay phones and there was some internet out there, but it wasn't like this. Like it wasn't like you could just call home or check in on the United States people and really stay up to date with everything. And so I had a lot of time without distractions when I was in Iraq. And one of the biggest lessons that I learned at, at being over there at 20 years old to win the game of life is that to, to not search outside of yourself for, um, well, it would, I guess to rephrase it, it would be if you want to lose a life, do what everybody else is telling you to do. Like, that's what I realized. You know, we had an off a young officer in my unit, 23 years old, he was killed by a roadside bomb. God bless his heart, you know? And when he passed, I realized, like, the United States didn't stop moving. Like, people and the economy and, and everybody lived their lives and nobody stopped. Like, we recognized him. I was on the firing team. Like, I did the 21-gun salute for this guy. And when this, when I realized, like, that nobody fucking gives a shit, man. Like, I cared a lot about this man. And there was people that cared a lot about this man. But in the, the general masses, the world, the, the U.S., everybody just kept moving 
and the, the machine of capitalism and the machine of of worker bees and the machine of of life just kept turning and turning and turning back to the United States. And when I got back from that 15 month deployment, I realized that they didn't even flinch, man. People didn't even flinch that we were gone. Like, like they don't get me wrong. They are, are. I had a lot of people that that thought of me while I was deployed. I don't want to take away from that, but what I'm trying to convey is that the world keeps turning regardless of what happens to you. That's a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow. So the best thing that you and I can do to win this game of life is to get the most out of it, of the experience that we want to get and make the biggest impact. Like judge a man not by what he accomplishes, but by who comes to his funeral. And so there's a lot of different things that I could be doing with my life. I never thought I would be on YouTube vlogging and sharing life wisdom. I never thought that I would be a ranger. I never thought that I would make anything out of myself. I wanted to be successful, but I never thought I would do any of this that I'm doing. And you guys, I, the biggest thing that I wanted to like hammer home on this video for you is to stop seeking outside of yourself for uh, what you're looking for. Like you want more money in your business, you want more freedom, you want more um, happiness, you want a better relationship. Like the thing that is going to deliver and attract those things to you is building the best you. Your ego, your ego is the, the voice between the person and reality. So your ego, you can write that shit down. The ego is the voice between the person, between me and reality, which means it's a barrier. It, it means that my interpretation of reality is going to be, me as a person, my interpretation of reality is, and what I need to do is going to be formed and, and created through my ego. So if my ego is out of control and I'm looking at the world and I'm like trying to figure out like, uh, you know, what I should do next with my life. My ego will tell me that it used to tell me I don't need to ask for any help. I don't need to reach out to anybody. I don't need a support system. I don't need a team. I can do it myself. That was my ego keeping me right where I was at and preventing me from acknowledging the fact that my reality sucked. I didn't have the money that I wanted. I didn't have the life that I wanted. I didn't have the relationship that I wanted. I didn't have the fucking happiness that I wanted. Like I didn't have anything going the way that I wanted to go and yet my ego was telling me that I didn't need to do the thing that I knew deep down I needed to do, which was to get some help, get some mentorship or some coaching, and um, get some, per the reason, the value of mentorship and coaching is perspective. It's not in the, what they're gonna tell you. It's not in what, it's not in what they're gonna give you. It's the perspective that you're gonna gain. A lot of people, they wanna improve their numbers in their business. They wanna like change their life. And they think that, that moving themselves, it's like when I, when I did, air, I lived out of Airbnbs for like, uh, I went nomad for like almost eight months. And I kept moving from home to home to home to home and I was just enjoying myself. And I kept, every time I planted my feet in a new Airbnb to travel and do the nomad thing, I found myself restless. I was like, why is it that I feel restless? I left home because I felt like I needed to expand. And I realized like by jumping from place to place to place that the real problem was me. I was the common denominator. Guys, I'm telling you, in your life, it's like, fuck, I wish I could like really I wish more people would understand that building the best you is what's gonna get you everything that you're looking for. The problem in your life, if you are broke, if you are not making the money in your business, if you don't have the time that you want, it, it all comes down to what you are not doing. So stop searching for shit outside of yourself. The value of mentorship and coaching is perspective. You should be asking questions to gain perspective. Seek awareness, not information. And that's how you really win in life. You gain enough perspective, enough awareness about yourself so that you can actually set up life as a game that you want to play and a game that you want to win. Now, I'm talking a lot in platitudes, so let me just like summarize this a little bit on what I've done as, like, for myself. Um, before I was aware of my ego, before I was aware that um, of the game of life that I was playing, I was just a product of my environment. I joined the military and I had no self-awareness. I was just doing a job that I thought made sense. But when I went inward, okay, when I started asking myself, what do I really want? What's really holding me back? What am I scared of? What are my dreams? This is when life started to open up for me because I got clear that I was, I was scared to go after what I really wanted. A lot of you guys, when you don't have the time, the money, the fucking, the body that you want, it's because you are scared to commit to the path that is gonna get you those things. 
you should not settle for where you are at. You should constantly be looking for ways to improve on your weaknesses. And only by fixing and hammering your weaknesses will life conform to your desires. Um, when I was broke, guys, the problem in my life was I was looking for things outside of myself to fix my money. The problem was motherfucking me. If I would have had just fixed my weaknesses, if I would have dropped my ego, stopped putting a barrier up between me and, and the results that I wanted in my life with delusion, I would have extended, ascended so much faster. So that's the message, guys. If you want to win a game in life, drop the ego. Judge a man not by what he accomplishes, but by who shows up to his funeral. And remember, to seek awareness, not information. That's how you win the game of life. I love you guys. Comment down below. Let me know if the sound of this video still worked and uh, what your favorite little segment of this video was. Conquer all.